The Hollywood Reporter rounds up all the loose ends after the season 4 finale of the time-traveling drama. Warning, this story contains spoilers from Outlander's season 4 finale, Man's of Worth. Outlander gave fans what seemed to be a happy ending for once, only to snatch it away in the last moment of the season 4 finale. After Claire, Katrina Balf, and Jamie, Sam Hewen, made it safely back to River Run just in time to meet their first grandchild, thanks to Brianna, Sophie Skelton, going into labor early, Roger, Richard Rankin, arrived just a little while later. His romantic reunion with Brie was long awaited, and his declaration of her newborn child as his son was the good news she had been hoping to hear. And even though young Ian, John Bell, had to stay with the Mohawk as a trade for Roger's freedom, all seemed well for the Frasers. For once, they were able to live their lives stress-free. And then the final scene arrived, dropping a bomb so massive that even fans who had read the books didn't see it coming. Jamie was delivered orders from the king to form a militia, which is taken directly from Diana Gabaldon's source material. But the shock came with his first mission, to find and kill his godfather Murtaugh, Duncan Lacroix. As Murtaugh is no longer alive in the books by this point, Outlander is being forced to veer from the source material to continue coming up with new stories for the fan favor character. What this means for Jamie and the rest of the Frasers is nothing good, as Jamie won't be able to escape these royal orders, and by aligning with the British, he's once again on the losing side of a war. But that wasn't the only loose end left dangling by the end of season 4. Below. The Hollywood Reporter rounds up all the burning questions that Outlander must answer when it returns for the already renewed Season 5. 1. Will Murtaugh survive Season 5? Jamie's godfather is already on borrowed time, having lived past his book expiration date. But Outlander's producers have said time and time again that they love the character and enjoy the challenge of creating new material for him that weaves in and out of the main storyline. But with Jamie's marching orders, it's hard to imagine that Murtaugh will survive another season, especially now that he's found a contented happiness with his unexpected romance with Aunt Joe Casta, Maria Doyle Kennedy. With a new love and a comfortable home for the first time in decades, he's never been in a better position, death sentence aside. He's escaped the noose once, can he do it again to continue to live out his days in peace? 2. Will Aunt Joe Casta marry Murtaugh? In the books, Jocasta ends up with another one of Jamie's men, Duncan, and they actually get married in a big storyline in the Fiery Cross. Will Murtaugh now sub in for Duncan after he and Jocasta got together in the season 4 finale? If so, that means good things for his future as Duncan continues to survive in future books. 3. What will Roger and Brianna's marriage look like? Roger and Brianna have had the worst luck when it comes to romance perhaps even worse than Jamie and Claire. They've hardly been in the same place long enough to have a true relationship. They both clearly love each other, as evidenced by how far they've traveled to be together. But is that enough to have a happy and healthy relationship? They're already handfast, essentially married, and now are raising a newborn baby that might not even be Rogers. Their tumultuous arguments in the past have not yet been settled. Will their issues continue to plague them after their romantic reunion in the season 4 finale? Or will they be able to move on and move forward in their relationship? 4. Will young Ian return to the Frasers in the future? The last time fans saw young Ian, he was grinning joyously, his smile stretching from ear to ear as the Mohawk accepted him as one of their own. It's clear that he's found his new calling in life as a Mohawk warrior. But as fans who have read the books know, this isn't the end of young Ian's story on Outlander. Will he return on the show? Or will his story deviate from the source material moving forward? 5. Did Stephen Bonnet survive the explosion? The general rule of TV deaths is that if you don't see the body, you can assume the character is not dead. The last time Stephen Bonnet, Ed Spillers, was seen on camera. He was trying to reach the keys to his chains so he could escape during the prison break before the building exploded. While it was not shown whether or not he was successful, this is one survivor that wouldn't let something so trivial as dynamite end his awful, evil life. Will he return to continue to plague the Frasers?
How did Brianna's speech change him, if at all? Will he believe he has a claim to her baby? 6. How much ground will season 5 cover? The season 4 finale unexpectedly changed up the timeline and started to tell a little bit of the next book's story while entirely skipping over the end of Drums of Autumn, upon which this season of Outlander was based. The gathering at Mount Helicon was not even touched upon in the finale, so with more ground to cover next season, will season 5 encompass all of the Fiery Cross? Or will that story be spread out between seasons 5 and 6?